Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize performance on Windows 10 using virtual memory. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the star menu, and you want to type in Control Panel. Best match should say Control Panel right above Desktop App. You just want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to go and left click on the view by up here, change it to large icons. And now you want to left click on the system button down here. And now that we are on this screen here, you want, now you want to left click on the advanced system settings on the left side here. Now that you've done that, you want to go over, make sure you're on the advanced tab. Left click underneath performance where it says visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So if you want to actually speed up your computer a bit, you could turn off some of this eye candy stuff here, so you can play around with it. So if you want to adjust your best performance, you could select that and then click on Apply and OK. It would look a little different, but your computer would operate faster, more than likely. And then if you want to actually adjust the virtual memory, go over to the Advanced tab. Virtual memory, paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Total paging file size for all drives. Left click on Change. So uncheck the box where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drivers. And then you would go and left click on custom size. So I'd recommend setting the initial size as the current recommended amount. So in my case it's 1,151 megabytes. And a good rule of thumb for the maximum size should be one and a half times the recommended. So if I open up a calculator here, it will be different in your case. Pretty much everybody's will be a little bit different here. So we're going to go and select 1151 times 1 1.5, so roughly 1,726 in my case. So I'm going to round down just for simplicity. And then once I've done that, I'm going to left click on Set. And then once you're done with that, you should click on again Set, click on OK. It should say the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. Left click on OK, OK again, restart your device, and again, it should take effect. Hopefully your computer will be a little bit more speedy. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.